Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Paige Jen. And I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. Hello, everyone. How's everybody doing? Sorry, I'm eating a Smarty. Hey, honey's eating candy here. And I'm salivating. <laughs> oh, I, ha- I hate Smarties. Mmm, not but the big ones, not the, mm, the you mega love Smarties. You love them. You love them. She does. How are you guys doing over there? Good. 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 Hey, honeys, your fan's on. Your number one fan is on. Oh, yeah. Alexa, fan off. There we go. I did have my fan on. Sorry about that, you guys. We're ready now. I was wondering why something felt weird. We're ready now. We're ready to start the podcast. Y'all ready for this? (laughs) Do, 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 do. I'm going to Lexington, Kentucky. (laughs) I'm about to announce (laughs) you. You guys ready? (laughs) Please. I thought you were going to keep. Yeah. Everybody ready? (laughs) This week, I will be in Boston. First show is sold out. There are some tickets left for the second show. This is my first time not only doing a show in Boston, but my first time in Boston in general. I'm super excited. The Wilburn is a very famous famous venue. I can't believe I'm playing there. I mean, I'm excited. Um, so get your tickets at eatmytrash.com. I will also be in New York City. Okay. Um, I've been in New York, but I've never done a show there. So this is going to be, you know, a first, lots of, lots of firsts this week. I'm very excited for the New York City show. And then I will be in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, right outside of Philly. So come see us. You guys tour is almost over. I won't be back out to the fall and I won't be back on this side of the country for a while. So come see me. Uh, get your tickets at eatmytrash.com. Thank you all so much for supporting my friend. Thank you for saying that. She deserves the world. Thank you. So while we're speaking of the world, please download the podcast. <laughs> please download the podcast because it helps us take over the world. Review. Yeah, leave us a review. Of stars. Share. It, interact with us. You guys know the spill to help us keep, you know, take over the world. And speaking of interacting with us, yeah. You know, if you do interact with us on social media on our viral podcast pages, we pick a rock fucker of the week to give a free piece of merch to randomly. We'll pick you randomly. If you share a post, comment, like, does, Subscribe. So whatever. We we literally go on there and pick a random. So this week's rock fucker of the week is Gentry Stone. Boom, 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 boom. Gentry boom, boom, boom. Maggie will be reaching out and we will be getting you your piece of merch. Exclusive. Exclusive. Mike Wilmer. Mike Wilmer made the rock Mike fucker. Wilmer. <laughs> All right. That's okay, Brett. You did All good. Right. Um, on the sound. Do you have a DM? Yes. Okay. Here What's it the goes. DM for the day, honey? What's the DM for the day, honey? What's the DM we'll for the day, honey? You. We will tell you. Okay, this girl, Brittany Cleven. Do you, did we say their full names all the time? Sometimes. If it's a common name, I'll say it. But if it's, you know, Brittany Clevin, I usually wouldn't. Okay. Yeah. But it's fine. You already said it. Well, that wasn't the full, but oh, well. Okay. People are so weird about their name yeah it's like you already have the instagram but then yeah okay if your name is bob jones i'm gonna say bob jones message me because there's a million of them <laughs> yeah that's true right okay she said hey ladies doing a fuck ton of laundry over here but wanted to say thank you i understand children probably shouldn't watch the pod lol my stepson doesn't watch it but i repeat things like what's the deal for the day honey and do better So he is 10 years old and being bullied hardcore in school, and he told his bullies, do better. I was so proud of him. Thanks, honeys. I love that. I love that. Do better, because you do. Do better. It is a pretty good comeback, I feel. Mm -hmm. And why are kids just bullying? It's it's really a problem. It is a problem. It's fucked up. And it's always been a problem, and I feel like it's gotten worse. I Yeah. Because social media, too, and... Mm-hmm. Yeah. And kids are fucking taking their own lives, and it's, like, suicide's way up. It's 
It's fucking sad. It's scary. Don't bully. No. It's not cool. No. We've always told the girls, if we find out that you're a bully, huh, you're done. You're done. You're done for. That mm-hmm. we have all, I mean, we have said that, like, if we find out you said, if you are mean to one kid, if you, I mean, and we are, I mean, we, we say that on a regular basis. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Because kids are relentless, you mm-hmm. know? Oh, yeah. I don't get it, so. Um, oh, my DM. Mm. Let me read my DM. <laughs> What's the DM for the day, honeys? You guys ready for this? This is from Danny Moore on Facebook. Danny Moore. Sounds and, like a country singer. And Well, he's an elderly gentleman. Mm. Huh. And he says, hi, sexy. <laughs> hi, sexy. You doing okay after my dick through your walls of your pussy? An ass last night, baby, by Danny Carl Moore. <laughs> what? I guess you I, I guess I fucked Danny Carl Moore last night. You doing okay? And I guess my ass and pussy walls are sore. He ripped through them. He ripped through my ass last night. What if he accidentally sent that to the wrong person, and he was really gonna message the lady that? That's fucking funny. DM her on Instagram. You doing okay after my dick through your walls of your pussy and ass last night, baby? Bye, Danny Carl Moore. That's what gets me. It's the bye. Yeah. (laughs) And the full name. Danny Mm. Carl Moore. Sincerely. If you have to ask the person how they're doing the next day, you (laughs) fucking tore them walls up. (laughs) If you have to ask, hey, you doing okay? Are you sore? Mm -hmm. You left waddling. (laughs) Stop. My pussy walls are sore, Danny. You really got me. <laughs> I can hardly walk, Danny Carl Moore. I've actually never waddled after sex, I don't think. Brett, you never made her waddle? Uh, well, she kind of like is like, uh, you know, doesn't like to have too many multiples, you know? So I don't really feel like I have the opportunity to really beat Go, it up as. Yeah. Beat it up. <laughs> you can't off. beat it up because you'll come. And uh, well, that's true. <laughs> but in uh, one know. second, you don't really pound those walls, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> no. are, are you a more gentle stroker? Yeah. Well, I know that uh, you know she does like the uh, gentle strokes, and yes, that does actually help to not have to go so fast at first. <laughs> if you guys were to do a contest to see how fast you could go, how fast and it is like you had to go the fastest. The quicker it was, the better. How fast do you think you could come? To go from no boner to coming. No boner to coming. To both of us coming or Whoa. just him? Just him. I mean, probably a minute. Yeah. I was thinking, you know, girls will be like, yeah, he can only last five minutes. But five minutes is actually a lot of opportunities. A big deal. Yeah. Five minutes to, like, not come. Yeah, when you're on the verge of coming. Yeah. yeah, I'm on the verge <laughs> Stop. of coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. man, I got my sweet tea here. Yummy. <laughs> mm. Mm. Why, yeah. was, sweet tea. I, why was that so funny? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get a you know sponsor, maybe. Today's Follows. episode is sponsored by Sweet Tea. Yum. I wish it was Gold's Peak. I don't like Gold's Peak. We can't say their Ooh. names if they want to. If they want their name, they got to hey, pay. Hey, Brett, this is our podcast. Oh. And we can do what we want. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, my, my fault. Um, Speaking we, of which, we love uh, my. Oh, you want to go ahead and talk? No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead, Brett. Is it your minute? Lean forward. Oh, really? Go Thanks, ahead. Guys. Yeah, you won't stop. Come on. Keep forgetting every episode to say uh, or to explain a little bit more of the the uh, sunglasses my dad found in the lost and found. He actually lost his, so it's not like he just goes to lost and found and like looks in them and because he thought it, I made it seem like that, so he just you know he lost his <laughs> went to the lost and found. You know, and he actually left his number for the person if they came back for these. You know, he but he just felt like maybe he should take the. The bad ones. But anyway, uh, I went roller skating the other night, and uh, I wish they'd bring back the uh, speed skate. Um, I don't know if it's like uh, for, what's it called? If you get hurt, something bad happens. It might be a risk. Uh, or the limbo. Um, 
coffee. Um, I've been. Uh, it seems like it's either good or bad for you all the time. Um, like they'll do a study. It's really good for Alzheimer's. Brett, this is your dad. Time's up. Lean back. <laughs> All right. Dude, I looked over there and Brett's eyes were like, yeah, like yeah. he was looking at, oh, at Maggie, Chelsea, like his eyes were fucking, oh my. <laughs> like one of those iguanas. All right. It was, oh. Wow. wow. Well, thank you those for that, Brett. Sometimes me. I don't know where to look and it, I can see that happening. Yeah. <sighs> okay. What the hell did he even talk about? Well, I don't know. I can go over it again. I wasn't oh, listening. Oh, no, thank you. Not, not right now for now. I wasn't listening. I don't know. So the roller skating. Brett, it, yeah, we said lean back. Your dad said lean back. So you gotta lean back, okay? No talkie. <laughs> no talkie. <laughs> no talkie. You gotta lean back, okay? Brett, go ahead and touch the wall for us. <laughs> you guys abuse him. You guys are so mean to Brett. We're nice to him on camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember, this is being nice. No, <coughs> remember when Brett um uh, I think you told him, hey, make a video to tell people we're not mean to you. <laughs> a confessional. At the very beginning of this podcast, people were so mad. And it's like, chill out. So Brett's like, hey, can, <laughs> hey guys, they're not mean to me. But that was a joke. We made that as a joke, yeah, right? But it, it <laughs> is funny. Even It's hilarious. Yeah. Mm. 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 Love sweet tea. Very All right. Well, are you guys ready to just roll? Let's get into this podcast. Yeah, let's roll it. Okay? Maggie, roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, big titties, little titties, medium titties, and Brett titties. Uh, I just have a question. So, when you go to the bathroom, do you, before you flush, you know, whether you poop or pee, do you put down the toilet seat or the toilet lid before you flush, or do you flush with it up? I just, I have the biggest pet peeve if someone leaves the toilet up when they flush, because I think there is particles going everywhere. So that's my question. Do you flush with the seat, the lid up or the lid down? Let me know, honey. Mm. Uh, yeah. We will let you know. Ooh. Hey, honeys. Mm, I put it, uh down because brett got all upset because the poo particles yeah because before i would just kind of flush it and just hold my breath wow because i didn't want to breathe in the poo particles but yeah now i just close the lid i don't really think i th- i don't know what i do i i think i honestly i think i flush while i'm still sitting on it is that not good i don't like the uh, splash I'm you know? not it doesn't sure. splash on me do you think those oh. particles could um, come up and cause something. They haven't. Yeah. They haven't got me yet. Laryngitis. <laughs> I don't know. Well, not that we know of. Yeah, yeah. I'll flush it because I don't look at my shit. I don't like to look at it. So when I'm done wiping, I'll just flush and then get up, I think. Yeah, so you, you should just actually sit wait. there after. I just got particles all over me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. yeah. Learn something new every day. Yeah. I've never even thought about it. I know. What do you yeah. do? I just leave it up the way I... When you get up, you just flush. But you stand up and then you flush. Mainly, yeah. Okay, and you just you just bend your arm back, Chelsea, like yeah. and just sit there. Uh, yeah. Particles. Damn, you're flexible. Well, you're getting you got particles on your ass anyway because you just shit out of it. <laughs> so True. you got uh, yeah. shit on your ass anyway. That and way, then yeah. And then you fart all day. There's the particles right there. Yeah. That is true. Who knows, dude? We need, I guess, uh, how, how can we tell what gets the most particles? I think they did. They do have videos out there. Oh, I believe it. Where they flush the yes. toilets and see all the fucking, but who knows? I that believe could be it. made up. And, you know, once we take over the world and become very mm. rich, this is something else we could study. Yeah, we'll let you know and we'll post videos. Oh, yeah. Because we want all the truth out there. Completely. So, Brett, you're really... W- Go ahead, Reed. Apparently, when flushed, uh, the toilet expels uh, small particles of water, urine, feces, and at times, dangerous pathogens that are invisible to the naked eye. So, when your seat's down, blocks it, the- most of it's getting on the seat. I'm sure you get some uh, out there, but... And it starts with apparently? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, but it says... It says, scientists... <laughs> 
scientists have known for decades that when flushed, toilets do what I explained. Damn. Okay. Who's in there? Do you think somebody's in there just taking a shit and then? Yeah. Okay, step out. The yes. The scientists. We need somebody to shit for us. But then when you lift the lid up, yeah. all that gets on your back. You know, you're fucked up either way unless you oh. scrub the toilet after every use. Well, I mean, you're you you're right. to flush. You're right, Maggie. You know. Well, Brett, your back doesn't touch the thing because you're thin, but we have big backs in this family. Yeah. I didn't know that. And our backs touch the back of the toilet. Interesting. Yeah. And if you have a fat ass, your ass is touching the back of the toilet. Sounds like we have a new product. To uh, yeah, a backless toilet. <laughs> <laughs> a backless toilet. So... Yeah, you're getting shit on you no matter. We're walking around with shit particles on us regardless. <laughs> oh, we're breathing them in. Left we're bre- and right. Breathing them in, bro. It's a great topic. People are taking topic. shits out on the street. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Human shits. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. I've seen them. Me too. I've seen them do it live. Smell them. At Roberto's. At the taco shop. Yeah. Wow. Oh, there was a log <laughs> sitting outside a Waffle House. A and it was like a perfect log. log. I was really impressed. Those tacos must have been good. He couldn't. <laughs> yeah. And you can tell the difference. Oh, yeah. I've only seen human turds on the, uh, what do you call it? Like the exits. Mm, yeah. When you exit the, the off ramp. ramp. Yeah. On the off ramps. <laughs> Hold on. Off ramp logs. Uh huh. You're seeing human turds on off ramps? That's a huge if, fucking turd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you can spot a human turd. Going no. 35 down She's the- like, human turd. <laughs> no, I, every time I pull over on an off-ramp, you can see human turds. I've never, f- I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. I've never seen that in my life. Damn. I'm going to start looking. Start looking. Well, it's because it's because they make it that you have to have a key or to be or to be a, uh, <laughs> you got you got to have a key to use the bathroom. You got to buy something to use the bathroom. Uh huh. Well, I think those are the turds outside the restaurant. I would say the turds out on the off ramp is probably from the, the what's it that word the on the on how the on house. I say homeless. I say it's just oh, somebody okay. driving <laughs> on a road trip. <laughs> just checking. Can they got to hold on? Uh. Hold on, Maggie. We just said it's uh. probably homeless people. Unhoused people is the word you're supposed to say now, although it means the same thing. I know. And is unhoused not going to be okay in ten years? <laughs> then we're going to have to say like let's let's what figure this. Stewardess th- now. Hold on, let's Sorry. figure this out. Oh, can't no, say that's that. what I meant. You can't say stewardess. Nah, that's like kidding. a '60s thing. Flight attendant, I think. <laughs> we're sitting here thinking it's probably unhoused people, and Maggie goes, "No." It's probably people driving who need to take a shit and they pull over and shit yeah. on the off ramp. That's what it is. Why would that's what it, she's? Why certain. would it, an unhoused person go to the off ramp to shit to get some money? Because why they're sitting some, there all fucking day with the sign. They're panhandling that's, right there. They're at work. No, and you have to no. take a shit when you're that's at work, a, and that's. So you're thinking someone driving home uh-huh. from work? No, on a road trip. If you're driving a long way. Oh, no, you just pull over on, Sounds like, like Maggie's oh, So you don't want to pull off in town. Maggie, you go to Love's. No. Lowe's. If you got to shit bad, you're not going to drive to Love's. You're not going to do There's not it. that many people, though, that are, Shrimp. the shrimps are singing that fucking bad. Maggie, people on road people. trips are not stopping on exits and <laughs> shitting. <laughs> no. <laughs> because she said she sees these often. We drive, me and Beth drive constantly on tour. We drive freaking, I don't even know how many miles a week. And we constantly have to stop and piss and shit. We will stop on the side of the road to piss if we're in the middle of nowhere. If we're in the middle of nowhere and there's no towns up by, no nothing, mm-hmm. we'll stop and piss. Yeah. But Jesus Christ, we stop at a loves if we have to shit. And if you absolutely can't make it, you still walk out in the woods a little, get behind a tree. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Well, wow. we should do a vote. A yeah, poll. we need a, a poll. poll. We'll do a poll on Instagram. Uh-huh. I'm going to make a note of it. We'll, we'll do a poll on Instagram about shitting. <laughs> um, Oh, my God. Because we're talking about the off-ramp to the intersection, correct? To the interstate, yeah. To <laughs> Or whatever. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. <laughs> to the interstate, yeah. One of those main exits. Yeah, okay. Yeah, to the, to the freeways. To the, yeah. Or just highways. The, yeah. Some this off ep- I-40. This episode comes out on t- on a Tuesday uh, morning. I will post this poll that evening, so if people get a chance to watch, and then I will do this poll. 
And if it is not 99% to one, I'll be shocked as shit. Something's I'm curious up. how you'd word it, kind of, too. Get on our Instagram <laughs> and please vote, because that's wild. We need voting stickers. No, I not. voted. <laughs> <laughs> I voted. Oh my and, it's, and it's like a it's turd on an off-ramp. Oh, my god! With a turd on there. Yeah. Turd with an eye on it. Gosh, that's wild. Yeah. The off-ramp <laughs> is a sign with a turd on it. That's cute. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. That's hilarious. So where were we? What were we even doing? Don't know. Toilet flush. Toilet flush Toilet lid. Flush. We've talked enough about shit. You think we can move on? Oh, for sure. Because we could talk about shit all day. This mm. call sounds really good. Oh. All right, let's hear it. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Do you know how much your subscriptions cost? Most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions, when in actuality, it's around $200. So if you don't even know how much you spend on subscriptions each month, uh, you might want to get Rocket Money. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills all in one place. If you've ever signed up for a seven-day free trial and completely forgot about it, well, Rocket Money will help find it and save you money. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. If I ever need to watch a show or just get to something, I'll say yes, and I don't know I'm even getting charged for these subscriptions. So with the help of Rocket Money and a couple clicks, they have saved me a lot of money. Honestly, I had a lot of subscriptions that I had that I didn't even know that I had, and Rocket Money has truly saved me. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel, and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as a click of a button. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash viral. That's rocketmoney.com slash viral. Rocketmoney.com slash viral. Hey, honey. Juicy confession here. So I just finished, I believe, episode 66. Fucking brilliant. Changing the world out there, you all are. Um, And you asked for juicy confessions. So... I do have a juicy confession. Hi, this job I worked at a few years ago, I was having a thing with a contractor of the company. So kind of an employee, kind of not. For a while, he had an office. This is like a corporate office kind of setting. Um, So we started hooking up. Um, I started wearing like a few days. I would wear a week, I would wear a a shorter mid-length skirt with no panties on. Um, No, this is not letters from Penthouse with Chelsea Lynn. (laughs) But uh, I would walk into his office and tell him I had no panties on and spread my legs. And he would finger me right there (laughs) in the office during work hours with, like, other people around. Um, Risky, nervous. I sucked his dick in the office once. Um, the walls and the doors of the office were, like, glass, too, so there was no, like, privacy. If somebody had walked around the corner, we would have been fucked, uh, busted. So, also, he fucked me doggy style in the men's bathroom one day. Yeah, so, never got caught, thank God. I did get caught by a female coworker of mine, kind of. I was, like, humping him from behind, but we had clothes on and everything. I just went up behind and I was like, uh, 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 you know? And when I was doing that, she walked around the corner. That was bad. Um, But she didn't say anything. (laughs) Anyways, honeys, I hope that was juicy enough for you. Maybe got your pussies throbbing a little bit. (laughs) What's the deal for the day, honeys? Anyways, love y'all. 
Bye. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal for the day, honey? What's the deal for the day, honey? Oh, fuck me. Could you imagine just going to work and getting finger blasted and sucking dick with glass walls? No. I could oh. never. I would be terrified to do it with enclosed walls. The adrenaline. These motherfuckers were just going at it with glass walls. Those aren't even walls. Just say no walls. I would be terrified. You know, it sounds like they fucked around a lot. You know, people had walked around the corner and walked back Mm -hmm. at least once. Everyone in that building is talking about you. Oh, my gosh. How would you not know? Go look at Cindy and Todd. Floor, floor six, he's finger blasting her. People are sneaking around the corner watching. That's why no one was ever walking by, because they all knew. I mean, what are the odds? No oh. one's just ever fucking walking by. Oh, my gosh. That's juicy. That's a juicy story. I would be too terrified. I'd be way too scared. I could probably do something, probably in the ba- the bathroom. Ba- bathroom's different. I feel like doggy in the bathroom. Sure. Yeah. Let's go for that. With the glass walls. Mm-mm. And Mm-mm. wearing a skirt so she can get finger blasted. That's fucking funny. Wearing it specifically so she get finger blasted. That's what I'm talking about. You come prepared. I just hope none of them were married. Well, they probably were. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you know that contractor was married. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Both. And he's just finger blasting the lady at work. Wow. Wow, good times fun. Thank you. Brett? What'd you guys say? Yeah, I'm a big fan of the no panties <laughs> or n- nothing on underneath. Oh, skirt. that's fucking creepy. Don't man. ever say that again. <clears throat> Don't ever say <laughs> chimes in. Yeah. yeah I'm a fan Look in the it. way he looks. <laughs> Don't ever say I'm a big fan of the no panties. And the no bra, yeah. The nips. In the no bra, yeah. Yesterday he said, I've, I've always wanted to fuck a girl who that's puking. Jesus Christ. That's nasty. Like the blood shit. I didn't say it like that. How'd you say it? I said I've always wanted to do someone from behind while they're puking. <laughs> That's when you're worse. Puking, <laughs> oh That's God. pretty much what Paige said. I don't know. When you're puking, you're like tensing up and you're yeah. hurting. Mm-hmm. Your insides are just tightening up and he wants his dick Very closed. selfish. Maybe. Very selfish. Uh, Very selfish. <laughs> <laughs> that one's weird. I've never heard of that. But people are into like... And the smell... Poop shit, poop sex, puke sex, blood sex. I wouldn't really say that's puke sex. Yeah. Just really tight sex, I saw maybe. Lady Gaga getting puked on while fucking singing. Where? At a show. She had somebody gagging themselves and puking on her oh, while well, she's singing. Shit, hold on. Shit's fucking It That wild. wasn't like a fan that was sick. That was oh, her, no, on purpose? She didn't have no, no flu. Act. She didn't yeah. have a flu. She... She was perp like it. It's a big deal because people w- who are you know who've struggled with being bulimic and shit, and then she or you know you don't yeah people anything. don't want that out there, and she's just gagging herself and puking on Gaga's head. I've never heard of this in my life. It was one of the more wild things I've seen. Has any of uh-uh. you, you've never seen that? Uh uh-uh. uh that must have been earlier. She seems to have calmed down here lately. I saw it. Really? I mean, she showed it to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that where you got the idea? To make it sexual? No. No. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, that's off a movie I saw a long time ago. Tom Katz. It's just like, what gives you the idea, though? One day you're sitting there, okay, I'm going to bring on a puker. I don't know. People think weird things. I could see bringing on a bed jumper. Right. But a puker? Bring a bed jumper. Get... For one of your shows, you have to get bunk beds, and you need to bring Mormons up and, f- well, liability. Yeah. Can't have one fuck. Yeah. We got to figure this out, though. Maybe if, you know, I make a movie, we can have a scene or something. Mm-hmm. Yes. Something like that. Yes. That could be. <laughs> yeah. Where it's in writing, under contract and stuff. Oh, for sure. Gosh. People do weird shit, man. Love weird em. shit. And you got to love them. You know? Any so. kink's a good kink. I mean, amen. Unless it's in a hose. In a hose. A oh, I, I got you. Yeah. That's smart. People, young people are not going to know what we're talking about. Because nobody wears pantyhose anymore. Nobody. Think about when we were little. 
They had those little eggshell pantyhose in Walmart. They were like 99 cents. Oh, God, every time I got a dollar, I'd go buy pantyhose. Uh-huh. What? And I just wear them. Paige Ooh. was talking about a water yeah. hose, though. I was water talking, hose. yeah, you've yeah. often yeah. lost you went, uh, me. You went way off. <laughs> when you said pantyhose, I said yeah. any kink's a good kink, except unless in it's hose. in a hose, like a garden. Okay, hose. I'm thinking yeah. pantyhose. You yeah. can't get kinks in your pantyhose. When you got off on pantyhose, <laughs> I was thinking, what in the fuck? You probably were tripping. You're like, and then the eggs and the... <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, those were fun. I'd put them over my face oh, and oh. become a creature. I had so much fun with pantyhose, and people just don't wear them anymore. Sometimes it, uh, the feel of pantyhose makes me cringe. Yeah, I can see that. It's a weird one for my fingers. I can see that for sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, man, thank you for calling in, honeys. That was a good one. That was a good one. Want to smell better? Naked? Let's face it. Our underarms aren't the only place we have body odor. That is why I am so thankful for today's sponsor. Lumi, whole body deodorant for pits, privates, and beyond. Created by an OBGYN who saw too many women being overtreated with antibiotics they didn't need for external day-to-day odor. It's clinically proven to block odor all day and controls odor for 72 hours. There has never, never been a deodorant like Lumi. They give new customers a limited time discount of $5 off Lumi's starter pack with code VIRAL at lumideodorant.com. As you all know, I play tennis and it gets a little sweaty down there, so I like to rub the deodorant stick on the outer slit layers. Lumi was also made with the most sensitive body parts in mind. And as you all know, I am very sensitive down there. So I rarely use soap. So with this deodorant stick, I can just apply it on my outer lips, and I am good to go and smelling fresh as ever. I absolutely love the Lumi Starter Pack, which lets you build a custom bundle of their best-selling products and customize your scents. It comes with a full-size stick deodorant, a cream deodorant tube, and two free products of your choice, like acidified body wash or wipes. You can use Lumi products on your pits, under boobs, thigh folds, belly buttons, butt cracks, fupas, vulvas, feet, slits, anything you desire. So what are you waiting for? Get started on your Lumi starter pack today. With over 150,000 five-star reviews, we are so confident you'll love Lumi. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code Viral at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code Viral. For real. Hey, honeys. Chompade here. Chompade. I just wanted uh, your opinion. <laughs> My boyfriend, uh, he sells the, uh, the good devil's lettuce. And, uh, you know, with, like, laws in the United States, everything's getting more lax. Um, People don't care about it as much anymore. Um, But I've gotten a lot of judgment from my family. They found out, oh, I want to say about six years into me and him dating. And we were in a rough patch when they found out. So I understand the extra judgment, but they literally, like, banished him from their lives, and I felt like that was a little bit of an extreme reaction. So, I just wanted to know your opinion. Would you guys, you know, be in a relationship with someone who maybe doesn't always abide by the law? Um, You know, get a little extra coin in your pocket. Times are tough. I don't really see it as a big deal. I smoke all the time. And it's really caused a huge, huge issue in my family. And, uh, yeah, we're, like, barely talking at this point. So just wanted to get your opinion, maybe some advice. Um, But I literally love this podcast so much. It has really helped me through a lot of shit, serious anxiety, serious depression, Um, even, you know, dealing with these issues with my family and making me sad. And so listening to you guys, it, um, 
it really helps me out, uh, keeps my mind distracted, and honestly, you guys, you guys do a lot of good for a lot of people. Um, yeah, so I love you guys, and uh, thanks. Oh, yeah. Love you. Thank you, honeys. Love you. <sighs> Damn, just for some weed? A lot to unpack here. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, your family needs to chill. They need the weed. I mean, oh my gosh, that would be hard to deal with. Like your fam, like making that big of a deal about selling some weed. I don't know. Call me crazy. That's not even a big deal. I know. It would kind of make you have to not choose between your family, but... Mm-hmm. Damn, that's something so stupid. I can see if he committed a murder. Yeah. But he just it is selling some little weed for some extra cash. And people are so weird, especially, like, uh, just from what I've experienced, you know, personally, like, older people, they're so weird about l- law, what's, what's legal, what's not. Like, our family, you know, when we were smoking weed back in the day, Oh God, it's hor- I I mean, had a hor- weed is horrible for you. It'll rot your mind, and it's blah, blah, it's illegal. All this stuff. We moved to California. Oh, they're completely fine with it now because it's legal. Yeah, you know what's horrible for you is the things that the doctors are giving you. Oh, weed's freaking medicine. Exactly. Not in my brain. Yeah, in your brain, big time. Oh, huge. But would I ever date someone who like? What was our question? Like, would, I, would we would ever you, date someone? Yeah, who doesn't abide or is breaking some sort of law? I don't give a fuck. Huh. Bring in that money. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. yeah. Depends on what it is. Yeah, if they're, like, you know, doing something, like, I don't know, like, something big that would hurt people. I, yeah, I'd probably have a problem with that, but no, I, not at all. I couldn't see how it could be a little stressful, maybe. You know, if you get on a... If this is your full-time job selling weed, you can start messing with some shady people. Who knows what could happen? Then you're kind of jeopardizing. Yeah. You could be jeopardizing your life or just be getting busted because, you know, Big Pharma doesn't doesn't yeah. want you doing that. Oh, big time. And I can see where that, that yes, agree with you. That's kind of what I meant with being like, it depends on the situation. It, it depends. Because mm-hmm, I'd always be on edge checking the fucking windows. Like, yeah. I'd be yeah. scared. Yeah. I'd be tiptoeing in my Jordans. <laughs> Stop. God. <laughs> God. Yeah, that's, I'm more, I'm more sad about her family just kind of, you know, shooting them out and giving her shit for it. Like, come on, bro. Y'all got to chill. He's not come. Don't shoot him out. Right. He's not. He's a human being. Over some weed. That's some uptight people. I would tell my family, do better. Yeah, just do better. And they'll probably change, too. Mm-hmm. It's yes. not going to impact their life, either. Fuck. Right. Well, who knows? Sorry know. you're going through that, honeys. Thank you for calling in, though. Love you. Hey, honeys. So, uh, you guys have been talking about foot fetishes, like, a lot on your podcast, and so I just wanted to share a kind of creepy-ass story mm. about an old friend with a foot fret- foot fetish um he uh was one of my best friends growing up and um didn't know he had a a really big thing about my feet specifically and had heard rumors from girls about him doing weird shit to feet at parties and stuff when he was drunk (laughs) and I never thought of it because he was just like my friend And he came over to my house one night, and I was there with my sister, and we were up just, like, hanging out, drinking and whatnot. And the night's, like, coming to an end, and he was, like, pretty buzzed. And he gets up to leave, and I noticed that my slipper was in his back pocket. And I was like, what the hell? (laughs) Why do you have my shoe in your pocket? I was like, give me my slipper. And then he got, like, weirdly defensive and was like, I don't have your shoe. And I was like, yeah, you do. I see it in your pocket. Give me my shoe. And he started to freak out. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Get out of my house. So he leaves. And I realized that he had stolen both of my slippers. And he stole my stepmom's shoe. So this was just fucking weird. 
and we stopped being friends after he stole my shoes and just yeah i had a friend even tell me that he swears he saw those slippers at homie's house so i don't know pretty fucking creepy if you ask me um so anyway love y'all honey oh yeah (laughs) he was doing weird shit to feet at parties he was fiending for them feet Dude. Still on the slippers? The mega feet people are ruthless. (laughs) Thought she would think they just slipped away. Stop. (laughs) Dude. Stop. Stealing fucking (laughs) slippers in his back pocket. Bring a bag, at least. The fact that he's willing to risk a friendship to get a sniff of some shoe, they'll do anything. It's like crack to them. Go to Foot Locker. Go to Foot. Oh my God! <laughs> Can you imagine the the crazy foot people that work in the shoe departments? <gasps> oh man, Ooh. that's them. That's them. Hide your toes. Whoa. Well, you guys know that fa- there's like a famous Sex in the City episode where oh. Charlotte. I love Sex in the City. She's like, you guys know, <laughs> <laughs> no. Where Charlotte wanted these shoes. <clears throat> Sorry. But they were like too expensive, like eight hundred dollars. Manolo Blahniks, something like that. And she, long story short, the guy was the foot salesman, the shoe salesman was going to buy them for. But the the deal was, she had to come in and let him touch her feet, rub her feet, try shoes on, everything. How f- that? I bet that happens so often. I'd say deal. Yeah, you get a foot rub out of it. <laughs> you get a free mm. foot rub and, and you're shoes. buying the shoe? And shoes. Cool. <laughs> yeah. But think about how many foot people, mostly men, are there, are there foot women? Oh, for sure. You think so? Oh, yeah. Really? We don't ever hear from them. We're they're hiding. About, they're lurking, yeah, though. Yeah. They're here. Yeah, they're here. You're right about that. Come out if you're here. <laughs> Come out if you're here. We're looking for you. Just leave a foot emoji. Leave a foot emoji if you're a foot woman. Wow. Mm -hmm. But think about how many foot dudes work in shoe departments. Or just visit, you know. They probably know all the best locations of the smelliest feet. They're probably going to the bowling alley. Skating rink. They probably, Mm -hmm. yeah, they have them figured out. They're smelling. That's a good one. They are smelling. Oh, my gosh. These foot people will do anything for shoes. I'll do anything for shoes. Do you think there's a difference between a foot guy and a shoe guy? Because do some dudes maybe sniff and jack off to shoes, but they don't care about feet? Is that a thing? Well, it could just be about the smell or the text, the soles. I know they love them. Goodwill would be a good spot. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, they are in there just buying shoes. Or just sniffing them. Yeah. Because yeah. there you have the whole selection right yeah. in front of you. Y'all, I cannot wait until we get our big studio. I, we have, we've been saying this since the pod launched. We have to get a foot guy on. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so have your feet questions ready. Oh, be thinking of your feet questions because as soon as we find the perfect person who is willing to come on and open up and be honest about the foot fetish, we will fly this motherfucker in. And have him on the pod. and But you have to be honest about everything. We we have questions, you know? And be thinking about your questions, because this is going to happen. In detail, too. Yes. Because we need all the deets. We on need the detailed feats. questions. But hold off on your questions until we will let you know as soon as, you know, this person's going to be on. We will post on our social medias. If you have any questions, send them to us. I'm excited about this. We've been, this has been a long time coming. It has. Forever. Yeah, for everyone. We've been talking about this forever. We want Mormons. We want. Yes. Lots Seems like of the people. foot guys talk really fast or something. Like they're really. I gotta really? go. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. They always gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Brett, that was one guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was one guy, Brett. Okay. They always gotta go. Wow, wow. man. Well, thanks. Well, thank you for calling in and telling us about that. I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm sorry you lost a friend over it. But I would I would say see ya. <laughs> yeah, I can't afford all the shoes. Yeah, that's true. Shoes are expensive, big time. So he's probably been stealing socks for years. 
Oh, those are easy. About sock place. Shove those in your pockets. That's a shoe place. Yeah. Yeah, you know how some dudes sniff panties? Mm-hmm. We got sock dudes out there. I'd rather have him say, hey, can I smell your shoes? I have a, a, I like it, the smell of your foot, rather than stealing it. I yeah. would be more okay, and I would still be friends with him. You would. But once you're a thief, yeah, and you, stealing anything from me, I'm yes. not going to have you be my friend. Yes. Just be honest. Communicate. Good job, Brett. I agree with you. Be honest and communicate. If you want to sniff your friend's shoes, just say, hey, I have this weird foot thing. I love sniffing shoes. Can I sniff yours? Just be honest with people. Who wants better sex? If you just thought to yourself, I do. Well, that's great because you are in the right spot. The best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off almost any one item, plus free shipping, which includes rush processing. And Adam and Eve care about your privacy, so if you don't want family members or your kids or just anyone around to know that you have bought a dildo, a clit sucker, a anal bead, a cock ring, lube, then Adam and Eve will offer discreet shipping for you we are all about doing better here on the viral podcast so bring pleasure and more satisfaction into your bedroom today just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item it could be an adventurous new toy or just anything you desire just enter offer code viral at checkout that's viral v-i-r-a-l at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to the podcast, so be sure to use this code VIRAL to get your discount. 100% free shipping and get it fast with rush processing. Code VIRAL. Oh, yeah. If I'm in your closet, that's why. (laughs) (laughs) Sniffing around. (coughs) Oh, my God, that got me. If I'm in your closet, that's why. I'm stiff. I'm sniffing, not stealing. Oh my god! I'm sniffing, not stealing. That sure. needs to be on a t-shirt. Yeah. I'm sniffing, not stealing. I'm oh, sniffing. Man. God. Brett said this guy from his work used to always smell his fingers. Yeah. Like all day long, would just be like, <laughs> "What was on his fingers?" <laughs> Probably dust from something that he just liked to have. He's always. Can you imagine doing that in front of people? Just. And they'd call them Mike Smelly Fingers. If you notice somebody <laughs> smelling fingers, you know that they know you're fucking behind the glass walls. Mike call Smelly me and say, Fingers. Hey, is he smelling his fingers? Like, yeah. <laughs> Stop. Just constantly smelling his fingers? Yeah. I think he took a pic. But we can't yeah. put him on blast on no, Instagram no, no. smelling his fingers. Oh. No. How's it going, Mike? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> if he listens, oh, my Dude, gosh. I know. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, he was a phone sales guy, you know, so he kind of didn't have. They didn't know he was smelling his fingers. Maybe if you just figured out that you were the guy <laughs> that everyone knew you at work is Mike the Smelly Fingers, dude. Mike Smelly Fingers. Mike's listening right now, punching the ear, mad. What if somebody <laughs> said, "Hey, what you smelling?" <laughs> well, that's what I'm thinking. I, what you gotta go up and be like, "Hey, can I smell? I can know. I smell too? Can I get a sniff of that?" Be like, huh? Did you ever say anything to him about this? No. I was going to, but then we all got laid off. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Laid off. Missed <laughs> opportunity. That sucks. Yeah. All right. All right. We love you. Damn, dude. That's funny. That's fucking funny. Mike, oh, wait, I know we're moving on, but Mike, Mike the sm- Smelly Fingers? Mike Smelly Fingers. Hey, Mike that Smelly that Fingers. Sound like- <laughs> All right, we're ready for that next call. Shout out to Mike. I just wanted to leave a message, but I think my last message I left was too long, and I just want to apologize, firstly, because I was bawling my eyes out. Basically, I, if you do play me, I, uh, I'll just talk about this again as less dramatic as I can. <laughs> Basically, short story, or long story short, I have a boyfriend. He's quite abusive to me in in my eyes. Um, it was his birthday this month. He deemed I didn't get him enough, enough presents. I didn't get him an ice cream cake on the day of his birthday because I couldn't afford it. So I got him a different cake. 
So three weeks later now, I get him a cake. And he's talking about all the shit that he hates in his life sitting there. And I say, please don't do this right now, babe. Just enjoy your cake. He comes at me running, screams in my face. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. He basically screams at the top of his lungs. Give give it that he's about 6'3", and I'm, you know, 5 feet. He basically overpowers me every time. And it's scary. So I was crying in the last one. I don't want to cry too much again. But every time I apologize, every time I do anything, I wonder why, because I haven't done anything wrong. I'm such a nice person. I clean around the house. I do everything. I have been up all night doing laundry and taking out garbage, doing all this stuff. And he still sometimes calls me useless. He calls me a bitch. He gets angry in the mornings. He's mad about his life because he's unemployed and I'm doing the accounting CPA program and I'm doing something for my life, you know? But I'm the bad one. I'm the asshole who didn't get him his ice cream cake that he gets every year. I didn't get him enough presents. He's just a really mean person, but when he does good, he thinks that he's like this king of the world. Oh, get this. He doesn't let me fuck him when I want. It has to be on his terms. Anyway, honeys, I'm sorry about the last message before this. That was too long. I love you both. I love you, Chelsea. I love you, Paige. I love you, Brett. I love you, all of you. All of you are fucking awesome. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, honeys, how you mustered up a oh, yeah, after that call. Fuck. Oh, I love you, and. Honeys, on- go ahead. You don't deserve to be treated like that. No. And no. it feels like he's taking out his own personal anger out on you. And you, in my opinion, you can do do better. Because he's abusive. He's toxic. This is not a rough patch. Uh, this is unacceptable. And I know it's easy for someone on the outside to be like, you need to leave. Just leave. Yeah. I know there are, you know... Sometimes, sometimes in abusive relationships, things keeping you there, holding you back. I understand that. But honeys, dear Lord Jesus, if and when you can leave, it's not okay. And I was it's sick. not going to get better. No. And it's sad no. that you have to even call in because you're already going through this and you shouldn't have to. But if you need, if you need to call us to vent, I'm glad you did it. I'm glad you, you know... Are, are talking to us because yeah. I'm sure a lot of people listening are probably going through the same shit. Fuck his ice cream cake sandwich, dude. And he's unemployed and she's cleaning, doing laundry yeah. all night. Hell no. Work. Hell no. Working and going to school, and this motherfucker calls her useless. No. Nah. He should be the one. He should already have your laundry done. Yeah. He needs to. No, I'm not gonna say that. Oh gosh, <laughs> I have no clue what you're gonna say, but. Well, it's like <laughs> yeah, it's like. like <laughs> Like, it's not okay. That is, like, textbook abuse. Huh. And you're just saying, enjoy enjoy your cake. And he's like, you want me to enjoy my cake? No, bro. It's not okay. I, I, hope, that, I hope the second you, you, you know, feel ready, are ready, I think you should just leave as soon as you can. That's not okay. Try to bounce. Yeah, it is hard breaking up. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, there's attachments and... Yep. But I get it. That's what I'm saying. And so many people, it's so easy for someone on the outside who's never experienced it to be just like, you need to leave. You need to leave. They, like abusers have like uh, put a fear in you. Yeah. And they have a control over you and they know what, uh, they know how to just (laughs) make you stay Mm -hmm. and then, right. Yeah. It's a whole thing. That's what I'm saying. As soon as you are, are, you know, able to. And want I would bounce out of there, honey. So I'm so sorry you're going through that. We love you. Love you. Thank you for calling in. If you ever need to call us again, you do it, honeys. Hey, honeys. Uh, newer listener here, but holy hell, I love you guys. Um. Anyway, I I wanted to run something by you guys. Um. I want to be sucking more dick, and it's not that I don't, and it's not that I don't like to. I think I just feel kind of self-conscious because I feel like my mouth is kind of small, and I'm worried that, like, the head of the dick or the sides of the head are, like, grazing my molars, 
and that is unpleasant for my partner. I don't know. Have you guys ever thought about that? I'm not chomping down on that dick, but I just worry, like, it's not as juicy and good. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me know. Okay. Love you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. Oh, uh, my gosh. You want to suck dick, but you're scared to because you have a little mouth. Small mouth. I feel like men, they don't care what kind of mouth is sucking. If, the, if somebody's willing to suck, <laughs> they're willing to have it out there. You're right. You're right. And will the will the smaller mouth be tighter, like a tighter, like almost like tighter pussy? I don't know. And does a dude even notice the size of the mouth? I don't like. I don't think you're should be hurting it too bad, Brett. Chime in here, my man. I, I definitely sometimes will be staring at Paige's mouth. You know, uh-huh. but do, does it ever? Are you ever like, don't suck my dick because it hurts? Or has the mouth ever been too small? Or te- No, no, it's very arousing. Getting Just in, gen- in general? Yeah, I'd say if so. You're not even thinking about what's going on? Uh, No, not okay. really. And I feel like you're probably But, I mean, I would there. definitely like to have some big lips and a big uh, mouth on them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay. It just well, looks better. Uh, it well, feels better. There's, this reminds me Sorry. of, there's a famous Mickey Mantle quote he was like i like i like women with smaller hands it makes my dick look bigger Mm. Mm, yeah so that small mouth might make that you know pee pee shine you know i never thought about there being different sizes of mouths but you're right like there are women with huge mouths huge smile huge jaws and and then everything in between i never thought about that before yeah but chime in if you're a guy and you've ever had to stop a blowjob because of small mouth, then that's good. Chime in or call in. Yeah, call in. Let us know anything. Do you, are you thinking about the size of the mouth as it's happening, or do you agree with Paige? Hey, someone's sucking on it. We don't care. Because I've had a friend. The only person I've ever, or the only guy I've ever heard say, she wasn't good at sucking dick because she wasn't confident in it she Mm. kept stopping and saying i don't know what i'm doing or and he said that's what made it not you know he was just like all right just yeah because he because he's like when she was doing it she was just doing it good and he was like yeah it felt good but like she just kept stopping and saying does this hurt like even (laughs) though some people like the communication but yeah yeah, a little less communication is always nice. <laughs> just, I feel just nah. not so much talky, more sucky. Just yeah. go, just go right. for it. Don't say is my mouth too small. Just fucking yeah. Get that spit quote. Co- uh, yeah, coagulation, and just <clears throat> fucking go for it and choke on it and call it a day. Honeys, I think if you're wanting to suck dick, don't let that small mouth stop you. I think anybody mm-hmm. is going to be happy. You're pouncing on that shit and slobbing on that knob. You're fucking getting those apples you're bobbing don't be think no no no. you go and you have fun bok, bok, chicky, chicky. You know, i think i know what she's worried about maybe it's the teeth she's she mentioned Brett, the yeah. teeth yeah. the molars oh yeah she's oh okay my fault <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but just just go slow you don't got to be right you know jacking them in the back on, on your teeth just you'll be fine just go slow do whatever you don't gotta fit the whole thing in there just do the head use your hands suck Find on the, the tip whatever suck on the tip yeah S- just suck on the tip oh, a, a tip uh stroke always kind of feels good too you exactly can, like, fake it there's there's like a tr- some tricks huh. whatever i think she does maybe put a ball in your mouth stroke the head yeah there's so many ways around the teeth dick tricks there's so many dick tricks. We need a dick tricks book. Yeah. Mm. How to. Mm-hmm. How to. Honeys, I think if you love sucking dick and want to more, do it. And we will all be thinking of you. Oh, I'll be thinking of you all the time. The lady with the small mouth. Oh, yeah. You know, Nobody wondering else. if she's out there doing what makes her happy or not. We love you. <sighs> Keep on sucking. Love you, honeys. Hey, honey, sitting in the parking lot in my car here. Um, I just wanted to kind of know your guys' opinion on inverted nipples. 
Um, I have inverted nipples. And, you know, I was really embarrassed of them for a lot of years. And now um, that I'm older, um, my boyfriend obviously has no problem with it. But I just kind of wanted to hear your take. I'd love to hear what Brett has to say about it, too. If you don't know what they are, it is I do have, like, the, the areola, um, but where the nipple is supposed to be, it's kind of like a slit with no nipple. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to know what you guys thought about that. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Love slits. In, inverted nipples. What? I don't know what an inverted thoughts? nipple is. I had a friend. Well, inverted. I always nipples. say I had a friend, like they're not my friend still. My friend has inverted nipples. My dad has and protruding. I think is what it's called. Your yeah, dad. Your dads are the exact opposite. <laughs> yeah. <of inverted>. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are pacifiers. I love your dad's nipples. Yeah, you can cut glass. Oh gosh! If you're listening, love your nipples, Russ. Love them. <laughs> I love all nipples, yeah. honestly. I'm a nipple at, is a nipple. Yeah, I don't think that that's... It's sh- like an innie. Yeah, like I've... It's just sucked mm-hmm. in. It's a slit. The my nipple? F- yeah. My friend was always so oh. just self-conscious about it, and I didn't see any problem. Yeah, there's no such thing as bad nipples. I mean, I'm looking at it here on Google, introverted nipples, and I see what they mean. It looks like a little slit. I, I wouldn't think, if I saw that, I wouldn't think anything about it. Embrace the slit. I, I just wouldn't think that that was weird, or or I wouldn't think anything, you it's know what I mean? Just a variation. You would notice. Really? If you saw it in human life. It still looks like a nipple to me, though. Like a tit and an areola and a nipple, there's just... Yeah, it's the areola, but then it uh, goes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I didn't know this was a thing. Oh, yeah. I bet it's super common. Mm-hmm. Is, it is? Well, if I know a couple people, then yeah, that's just me. I guess there's eight different types of nipples. Oh, I'm going to read them. Yes, Brad. Uh, protruding. So yeah. That's kind of. That's Russ. That's yeah. your dad, um, yeah. Flat. That's Greg. Flat? Yeah, I've seen those, yeah. Greg's is puffy but flat. Uh, puffy Ooh. is one. Puffy. Yeah. Um, inverted. Okay. And then the unilat- unilateral Inverted, so mm. you have a slit and a protruding. Ooh. Wow. Is that rare? Uh, that's probably that's really rare. rare. That's yeah. probably Let really rare. Let us know rare. if you're out there. Let us know mm-hmm. if you're out there. <laughs> yeah, we'll have you on the pod. Are you yeah. a unilateral inverted? Okay. Bumpy. Seen those? That's yep. me, I think. I think I'm bumpy. Yeah. And then there's uh, Harry. Okay. Yeah. Harry Styles. <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, super numerary. Whoa. Super numerary. The uh, three nipples. Oh, what's the okay. superhuman there? Nar- the three nipples. Three. So, oh, yeah. I feel like you can have a variation of all eight. Super mammary, maybe. And also, I'm looking at another picture of the inverted nipples. I have seen this. Hmm. Yeah, you've seen it. This is like very com- like. You've yeah, seen it where though? I don't know. I just feel like I've seen a nipple like this. Okay, just probably out and about at your shows or something. Yeah. People show titties during the show. I see all kinds of titties. People love when you post on your Snapchat at the show. Oh, yeah. Because people always flash the camera. Yeah. What are your guys' thoughts on nipples? Like, bigger? Would you rather have bigger? Or are you, do you wish you could change anything about your nipples? All nipples (laughs) go for me. Agree. Yeah. Agree. I don't think. How would you describe your nipples? Well, you can hop on my Patreon and see. Nice. Hop on our slits onlys and let us know. Hop on our subscriptions, you can see. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't change anything about my nipples. But I also don't feel like, I, I think you're right. All nipples go. There's so many people self-conscious of their nipples, men and women. Greg hates his nipples. I'm like, what? And I love sucking on them. My dad tapes his. Your dad tapes his nipples down. I just don't think about Ne- nipples in a negative way. I love seeing nipples, like poking through shirts, whatever. I love that. Beth, said Beth before. never wears a shirt or never wears a, a mm. bra, and her nipples are always poking out. And yeah. I enjoy looking at them. And that's my sister. Yeah. And she has big boobs. It's that's titillating. my sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every time she's wearing a tight shirt with no bra, I always look I'm like, mm. Mm. those yep. are nice nipples. Milky, milky, milky way, Nene. milky way. Milky Way. That's probably my favorite candy bar. 
Do you take oh, off all the, the chocolate on the outside? Oh, that's a Three Musketeer. Take off all the chocolate and then eat the nougat. No, I've never done that. Mm. Maggie loves zero bars. Ugh. Hey, no, I still bar. haven't tried, and <sighs> I've been saying I was just gonna try a zero bar let's for like nine months. Tr- let's try it for slits only. Okay, I'll get you a zero bar, and when we film slits only, well, you can try it on there. Okay, done, done, done. All right. I yeah, I just hey, all nipples go. Let's stop putting so much on our. Oh, okay, let me put it this way. <clears throat> can we please? Stop putting so much pressure on ourselves that we can't even be happy with the way our nipples look. Something so non-important that we're letting get to us. Everybody loves sucking on nipple, no matter what they look like. Today needs to be Nipple Awareness Day. (laughs) Well, I'm I'm naming it. Every day. Today is Nipple Awareness Day. And every day is Nipple Awareness Day. Titty Tuesdays. Love the nips. Love your nipples. Oh, yeah. Fucking rub them right now. If you have them, rub them. Right now. Tell them I'm doing it right now. Love your epidermis. And just go, oh. And go, oh, yeah, fuck me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, fuck. Imagine everyone in their cars right now. I know. Oh. I know. That would be cool if you looked over and somebody else was rubbing their nipples. That'd be cool. That have to the stars would really have to align for yeah. that to happen. Yeah, maybe one day. <sighs> yeah, but let's not be so hard on ourselves in general, especially things that aren't aren't really important. Yeah, you know, can it, we? It's so dumb. Let a. Can I challenge you today to just let go of? If something's been bothering you that is really not important and something something you can't control, can we let that go today? Be free from it. Yes, I'm calling it now. Let's let that go. All right. That's Love you, what, honeys. Yeah. Thank you for calling in. Appreciate you. This is the last call. Oh, my Lord. The last call, all right? Hey, this is your friend Jared in southern Utah, kind of out by Zion National Park for Paige. Go Jazz. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, I just wanted to say a couple of things, if I may. First of all, Brett, this is not your podcast. It's Chelsea and Paige's podcast. Do better, bud. That's all I'm saying. But with that said, Brett, I think you're hilarious, and I would like to advocate for men's health and reproductive rights here and suggest that, Paige and Chelsea, you allow an additional 30 seconds to Brett's one-minute segment. And the reason I say that is because every time that dude gets going on whatever the fuck he's talking about, we never get quite the information we need to be able to implement his suggestions and thoughts into our lives. So I feel like an additional 30 seconds would help with that. I really do. And I also wanted to suggest that perhaps Maggie, the lovely Maggie, and Brett do their own mukbang spinoff podcast. I think that would be fun. I would watch and listen to that. Hell yeah. But also, I want to touch on a subject that happened, and then I'll end with this. The other night, I was having a dream that the lovely Paige there was getting raw dog dry about one of my best friends in real life (laughs) and in the dream i looked over and was like hey what the fuck when's it gonna be my turn and i just woke up and i was like holy shit that was the strangest dream but uh yeah so i guess age has infiltrated my thoughts to be in my dreams especially in that way Mm -hmm. but chelsea Paige, maggie brett i just wanted to say that uh you're making my life better by putting a smile on my face on a daily basis because I'm getting caught up on all your live uh, comedy things you do that are on the internet as well as your podcast and whatnot. And we live in such politically tumultuous times and just all kinds of shit in the world. So I just wanted to say thanks for making the the world a better place one lap at a time. And I sincerely mean that. So with that said, love you, honey. Uh, yeah. I mean, oh, did I say Brett? I mean, oh, yeah, stop. <laughs> All right, love you. Love you. I love this guy. Oh, love you, Jared. Dude, thank you for that amazing call. I mm. will say the fact that you're wanting to add an extra 30 seconds onto Brett's Lean Forward segment because you never feel like you're getting the information you need, the time cuts off. Let me tell you right now, brother. We could add 20 minutes to Brett's segment, and you'll never get the information you need from the things he's saying. 
I can't give it all. You gotta, you kind of got to do your own research. I can only lead you there. It's I, I can only you lead you. There. <laughs> oh God. I can't make you drink, Brett. That no. made me lot, that made me lot headed. He's a camel or whatever. He's doing that reference. Brett, you made me lot headed with that. Yeah. <sighs> What a sweet guy. He was raw dogging. His friend was raw dogging me in a dream. Oh, I wish that was real life. That would have been cool. Dreams come true. Dreams do come true. You never know. And you're from southern Utah. Love Utah. Love southern Utah. Go jazz. Um, oh, marketing. We, oh. we love the jazz. Thank you for your support. Thank you for listening to this podcast. It goes for everyone listening right now. We could literally, this podcast would not exist if you weren't listening right now. And we could not take over the world without you. We fucking love you. We're grateful each and every day. Wow. <laughs> see, see, we just did that for you. Hey, we did we that for you. To figure that out. We did that for you. I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, really? That's all right. Yeah, seriously, though. Love you. Was you. that the last call? That was it, baby. Yeah, ma'am. Mint ma'am. Mint ma'am. Mint ma'am. Mint ma'am. We've been going mint ma'am. So just know if we said that randomly. Yeah, it's just a little thick. Yeah, we, pussy tick. we had a we had a Maggie had a teacher named Miss Moore, so we're going Mitt Mall, Mitt Mall, Mitt Mall, Mitt Mall. It sounds it reminds me of oatmeal or something. Yeah, like a, it looks like a oatmeal mill. Yeah, Mitt Mall, Mitt Mall. Make me some Mitt Mall. What a okay. great podcast! We love you guys. Call in if you've leaked your sister's <laughs> pussy at four four two seven seven seven. Three, 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 one. And always remember that you are doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready. Oh. Work my wind vibe.